Hi, how are you? I want to say thank you so much for following me and being a part of each and every teaching that we've been posting up on our pages and every broadcast that we've been doing. It's always a pleasure sometimes to see people who are eager to understand their dreams. But I want to just show you something that is going to help you and make you a better dreamer. There is an article that I wrote that I'm going to just read to you, but we're going to be sharing together. That's going to be essential. The basic steps for dream interpretation. You know that there is something that I call noise in a dream. Every dream has distractors. And most people, because they are not taught to focus more, they focus more on their distractions than on the dream. You come out of the dream without having one important detail. All you have is the noise. Um, and sometimes many people lose the true essence of a dream. God wants to show you that you're about to get married. But instead of seeing the person you're about to get married to, you're seeing your ex. Instead of seeing the company that you're about to get employed in, you're seeing your past workplace. So it's issues that you are dealing with that are being reflected in a dream. Let me put it in a simple way. You have been watching a movie. Instead of seeing what God wants to show you, you're seeing that movie that you are seeing. Those are the distractions that I'm talking about. It's not just about dreaming, but having the right dream. Many people, they are dreamers, but not so many people have the right dreams. Noise makers are things that steal the voice of God from your dreams. These are things that are coming to take the voice of God. So even though God wants to say something, they are noise makers that are stealing the voice of God from your dream. They are fears that you're dealing with, emotions, past issues, past break, breakdowns, breakups, whatever, that are stopping you from whatever God wants to say. At times when I read dreams, I am discouraged. It breaks me. Why? It's because people are not being able to translate the voice of God. There are so many issues that they are dealing with. So the dreams no longer they carry the voice of God, but are clouded with feelings and with emotions. Break away from the noise. How do you break away from the noise? The secret is to be a man and a woman of the word of God. The word of God gives more expression to the house that produces dreams. Do you know that dreams come from your soul? And when you renew your mind through the word of God, your soul becomes refined. It becomes a tool that God can use to communicate with you. So the problem is many people are not people of the word. So instead of dreaming what God wants to show you, you are dreaming of something that is contrary to what God wants to say. So the first place, the first thing is to be a man and a woman of the word. There is a person that I normally talk to. That man is deep. He's a deep man of God. When he gives me his dreams, I am overwhelmed with the weight of the word of God that is in those dreams. Those dreams carry the pure voice of God. Why? It's because his mind is renewed. But there are other dreams when I read, I'm like, dear Jesus, I can even see the meal that you ate yesterday. Why? Because the dream carries so much distractors and emotions. Now, let me just say this as I'm concluding. What makes a person to produce good dreams is the condition of their spirit, renewal of the mind. I can't just interpret every dream that you give me, but I need to interpret dreams that carry the full voice of God. So the key for your dreams to be pure, to be perfect, to be amazing, is to be a man and a woman of the word of God. Sometimes many people are having negative dreams. Why? It's because of the noise that is in the dream. There is noise that is in your dream. So I want you to tell yourself that I am a man and a woman of the word. And I refuse to dream any dream that will not carry the weight of God's voice. I want to pray for you. Father, cause them to be aligned to you that their dreams may be perfected in you. And I pray against any form of noise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.